Artwork, critiques, Photoshop files and reference sheets are all available on my Patreon. Welcome to the unboxing review of the AlphaWise 1910B graphics drawing tablet. Now before I get started today I do want to stop and thank Gearbest.com for sending this tablet over for review. Gearbest offer an incredible range of products and electronics at some of the cheapest prices online. And you don't need to take my word for it, a good Google search will usually tell you the same thing. Plus they have a load of post Christmas discounts running on their website at the moment so it's definitely worth a quick look. Those guys are very good to me so follow the links below. And with that being said, although you can follow a link to this AlphaWise tablet, I've I've actually included links to some of the newer Vike drawing tablet alternatives instead that you can get from Gearbest.com. And that's because in this review I have to be completely honest, I'm going to be running you through why this AlphaWise 1910B graphics drawing tablet is actually the perfect storm of everything that you need to avoid. So firstly this is what you can expect in the post, some robust packaging which is more warehouse appropriate than display ready, but does float the contents in a foam frame to avoid any knock damage to the monitor. The smaller cardboard box inside houses the tablet peripherals and this includes the interactive pen display user manual and setup guide, see you later, a smudge guard glove for when you're working on the tablet itself which is always a good touch to include, a USB charging cable for the stylus pen, a European plug, even though I live in the UK and can't use that here, the USB lead to connect the tablet to the computer when using it to draw on and in a separate plastic bag a VGA connection cable, what year is this? Then also in a separate plastic sleeve is the pen itself which according According to the AlphaWise website has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and we're going to come back to that bold statement in just a bit. Then you have the weighted pen pot which is both a convenient stand to keep the pen in place on your desk and it also unscrews to house for spare nibs and clip. And lastly in a white card box is the power adapter for the plug that won't fit into my wall socket. Then that leaves the 1910B monitor itself which is pretty well protected by a foam frame and comes sealed in its own plastic bag. It's a pretty solid looking device and also comes with an adjustable stand already mounted onto the back so you don't have to separately screw anything into place. So here's what you can expect again out of the box, you've got the tablet monitor itself with the stand, the user instruction manual, a power adapter and power plug, the USB connection leads as well as the USB charging cable for the stylus, the pen itself, a VGA connection lead, weighted pen pot with nibs and the drawing smudge guard. Note that the tablet does have a DVI port on the back to connect to your computer as well as the VGA but it includes no DVI cable and has no HDMI connectivity whatsoever but arguably you could use a DVI to HDMI adapter cable which you can grab online for a few quid. So here's how the 19 inch AlphaWise graphics pen display tablet looks in a relatively small desk space like my own and as you can see it does fit in quite nicely next to my 27 inch main monitor while still offering plenty of on screen space to work. This is because the stand at the back does fold to a relatively shallow angle which allows you to essentially prop the tablet up instead of just sitting it too far thrust forward when it's not in use. The bottom edge of the tablet sits directly flat onto the desk with the monitor calibration buttons facing forward at the bottom right hand corner. And yes the AlphaWise logo is stuck on with some kind of tape so do try not to pick at it. The monitor comes in a black plastic hard shell case and does feel pretty rugged and robust, with the monitor glass itself running up past the active screen area and fairly close to the top edges. It has air vents at the bottom corners and running along the top to dissipate the heat and as you can see it has a rather deep profile. The quick release stand is the standard type you find for most alternative brand desktop drawing tablets and it's also colour matched to the black tablet which is a nice touch. The rubber grips do keep it firmly in place on the desk when in use and the chunky nature of this tablet means that there really is only a little bit of shifting about with no actual flexing of the screen at all even when I apply pressure to the furthest corners at different angles and it is rock solid in the centre where you'd probably spend most of your time putting your weight into it. Now you do want to keep the cables clear from getting pinched however and with most tablets that have the cables connect from the bottom you won't be able to actually tilt the screen too far back without the cables pinching and taking all the pressure making it wobble a bit on the desk. Now this is not unique by any means just to AlphaWise but you do want to make sure that you don't bend or break things when they're plugged in. 
So using a fairly neutral grey tone for comparison, I can see that the screen colours are a little too far over to the blue cool range, but this can be adjusted in the monitor settings menu. However, to the naked eye, the overall screen colours are not saturated enough and it looks a little bit too washed out compared to how they should be, and this means that vivid colour images can actually start to look a bit flat. One of the main problems is that this is not even a 1080p monitor, and it's not even set to a 16 by 9 ratio. This 19 inch screen is 1440 pixels by 900, and at this size it means that you can noticeably see the jagged and pixelated edges with the naked eye. And due to the older technology going on in here, it also has a very tight viewing angle in the screen, meaning that things can look overly bright and overly dark if you don't ensure that you're looking at the monitor flat on. Now, AlphaWise on their website state that this tablet comes with an 8192 levels pressure sensitive pen. And if you've been shopping around recently, you might be aware that this is the current standard of the latest ranges that come from many brands, including Wacom, Huion, and XP Pen. However, I have some experience experience with tablet screens, and although I must say that this is just my personal opinion for legal reasons, this AlphaWise 1910B graphics drawing tablet in fact uses the exact same technology as the UG 1910B, and it also comes with the exact same 2048 pressure levels pen, not 8K. Very naughty. So to reaffirm, I believe that this is a lie, and I suspect AlphaWise simply upped the number to 8K in an effort to keep up with the times, under the assumption that nobody would notice. Now don't ask me what the legal implications are of knowingly misrepresenting your product, I'm just saying what I see. The pen comes with two raised buttons on the side and a flared area near the tip to help keep your grip comfortable over a longer period of time, but the nib however does feel very spongy with a lot of travel. And at the rear is the port where you can plug it in to charge via the USB cable. As mentioned, the weighted pot unscrews to house the spare nibs and also the small metal clip which can be used to actually switch the old nibs out of the pen for newer ones. And you can either pop the pen straight into the top or rest it across on its side. Of course, for power cables of the wrong type for the UK, so you will need to use an alternative or buy a travel adapter. But the smudge guard glove, however, is always a useful thing to have with any tablet, and that at least does the job. When plugged in, my Windows 10 computer recognised this monitor as part of an extended desktop straight away, and in that function alone it's not the end of the world. However, this tablet did not come with a driver installation CD, and according to their website, yep, still lying about those pen levels, it looks like they don't actually include one as part of the contents. Now, many suppliers don't bother with CDs anymore and just let you download the most up-to-date version of the drivers from their website. Except, AlphaWise does not. I searched their site and I could not find any drivers or product support for this tablet. So this means that my computer doesn't understand that it's supposed to be more than just a monitor, which therefore means that this as a drawing tablet is unusable. So let's double check that user manual. Looks like I finally read one after all. And ah, here we go. After connecting all of the cables, step two is to place the CD into the CD-ROM and install the driver and other software. That's the CD that they don't include, containing the driver software that they also don't provide online. Well, I have emailed their customer support asking for the best way to get the driver for this tablet, but as of making this video, they still haven't responded. Now, in fairness, I've emailed them during the Christmas period, and they might be quite busy. So, if I do hear back from them, I will update all of you in the description and the comment section below to this video. But I haven't heard anything back yet, which means that if anybody else got one of these for Christmas, they'd be stuck waiting for help too. Now, there is a trick, and that is to go onto the UG website instead and download their driver for the 1910B model, seeing as it's essential the same kit. This meant that my computer could recognise that the tablet had a pen, but it was far from perfect, as it didn't register the buttons on the side of the pen or register any level of pressure sensitivity at all. This meant that trying to do a drawing with no brush pressure levels at all makes the tablet only one step up from trying to draw with a mouse. Well, regardless, I don't consider a tablet review to be fair unless I actually sit down for a bit and try to get some artwork done, and I'll use this opportunity to quickly summarise my thoughts. 
Now, firstly, I don't actually enjoy knocking any product that supports creativity in people or risking my relationship with the supplier by giving a bad review. But the truth is, if I tried to pretend that this tablet is something that it's not, I'd basically be insulting your intelligence and lying to you. And then you probably wouldn't be able to trust any of my reviews ever again. Now, one fair question would be, Mikey, this is some old technology right here. Why are you even talking about this tablet? Well, because it's still available to buy and it would break my heart if you forked over your hard-earned money for this thinking that you might be getting an okay budget tablet when really in the last couple of years what's available for your money in the world of tablets has stepped up in quality massively and there are simply far better introductory tablets available on the market for you. Again, as an example, I've linked to some Vike tablets on the Gearbest website that you could take a look at. And in fact, Gearbest do a huge range of graphics drawing tablets, including some of the Huey on Bad Boys, all at great prices. So anyway, this old tablet comes with the wrong plug for my country, only a VGA connection lead, which most computers and laptops don't even get built with anymore, no HDMI option, it's not even a 1080p screen, which even 11 inch tablets these days come with as a minimum, it doesn't have a standard 16 by 9 ratio, the colours are not amazing, you can see serrated pixel edges with the naked eye, and despite the instructions stating otherwise, there is no driver provided by Alphawise for their own tablet. And again, I can't stress this enough, that means without some inventive off-brand help, this tablet will not work. Also, I really couldn't draw anything of interest because even with the workaround, I had no pressure sensitivity with the pen. So there we have it guys. In a nutshell, the AlphaWise 1910B is the worst tablet I have ever tried to review. So please don't confuse this tablet with Gearbest.com guys. They are a great supplier of a huge range of electronics, entertainment and other products and definitely worth a look. I don't want to burn any bridges here, I just have to keep it real. So a great big thank you to Gearbest.com for sending this tablet over for review and if you guys haven't already, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more reviews and other art videos in the future. In the meantime, get in the comments section if you have any questions. And no left-handed comments today because it seems that some of you don't quite understand irony. So please look it up and I'll see you next time. Take care.